Congratulations, you've cracked the code. Enjoy this look at Fringe. It's Fringe in a few. Everything you need to know about the first two seasons of Fringe in just a few minutes. Our story takes flight with a jaw-dropping plane ride. Cue Olivia Dunham, an FBI agent having a secret affair with her partner, John Scott. They follow a lead, which leads to this. <laughs> now Olivia's on a mission to save John's life, a mission that brings her to Dr. Walter Bishop. There's just one problem. He's been in St. Clair Psychiatric Hospital for 17 years. That's fantastic news. Walter agrees to help, but only with his estranged son, Peter, as a reluctant chaperone. Olivia, along with friend and fellow agent Charlie Francis, reopen Walter's old Harvard lab. Bring in junior agent Astrid Farnsworth, lots of equipment, and Jean. Ah! Walter suggests a simple merging of Olivia's consciousness with John's to jumpstart the investigation. It works. Their suspect was an employee of Massive Dynamic, a multi-billion dollar corporation created by William Bell, who just so happens to be Walter's former lab partner. Massive Dynamic exec Nina Sharp promptly warns about the pattern, a series of bizarre events involving unexplained scientific phenomena. Now, Philip Broyles of Homeland Security wants Olivia and crew for French Division to investigate this pattern. Someone out there is experimenting, only the whole world is in lab. Olivia discovers that a strange man has been watching her. Broyles calls him the Observer, but his name is September, and he's not the only Observer, each named after a different month. Seems they're able to look through time, always showing up for important events. If that's the case, what's about to happen? Before we can look ahead, we have to go back. Here goes. Walter son Peter died when he was seven from a rare disease. Walter crossed over to an alternate universe of a world just like ours, but slightly different. After September caused the alternate Walter to miss out on a cure for the alternate Peter. Our Walter brought their Peter back to our side and saved him. That was the easy part. The hard part was giving him back. Turns out, he couldn't. Not only that, Walter's trip to the other side damaged both universes. Theirs worse than ours. A fact which didn't go over well. In fact, William Bell, who's been living in the alternate universe, brings Olivia over to warn her of a coming war. As a child, he and Walter treated her with cortexafan, an experimental drug meant to foster her abilities. Getting to the other side was easy. Getting back, not so much. Luckily, Nina puts Olivia in touch with Sam Weiss, a mysterious man ready to help her recover. But there isn't much time to rest. Hybrid shapeshifters are here and can look like anyone after killing the real thing. They're on the hunt for a head, that of their leader. Meet Newton. Newton manages to bring Peter's real father over here. Oh, son. Think of him as Walter Newton. Brilliant, but ruthless. He's the Secretary of Defense over there. Once Peter learns the truth about himself, he agrees to go back and help save their world. This leaves our Walter in a world of pain. He and Olivia travel to the other side in hopes of bringing Peter back, but they find themselves facing a familiar foe. There's an alternate fringe division over there. Walter and William Bell are reunited as they work on a way back. Olivia attempts to find Peter but runs into. They fight. Olivia wins. So she goes undercover as the other hurt, getting their Charlie to bring her to Peter, who believes Walter Nitt lied to him and has him working on a device meant to destroy our world. Peter and Olivia get it on, briefly, but then they have to get on with it. He agrees to go back with her and Bell sacrifices himself to get them home. But all is not what it seems. The Olivia that came back is from the other side, while Walter Nitt has our Olivia imprisoned over there. Please let me out of here! It's a fiendish cliffhanger leaving us hanging until Fringe returns.